Thomas. Hello, <laughs> oh, yes. I'm good. Nice to have you over my studio here in Bangkok. Yes, hello together. I'm very happy to be in Bangkok here with Justin Love, a great uh, musician and painter originally from New York. Thanks, Thomas. Justin, tell us, what are you doing in Bangkok? Well, I'm making paintings, as you can see. And tomorrow I'm going to record in studio to record my new song called Shh. And uh, meeting great people like you and enjoying the Thai people. Okay. Nice weather. So when did you arrive in Bangkok? I've been here about six weeks now. Um, I was here about three months in the spring and summer and loved it, so I came back. Okay, and, and you told me you also paint in other studios? Yeah, I have a studio in Costa Rica, in New York, in upstate, in Woodstock, New York, and in uh, Negril, Jamaica. Wow. So I like to get some different influences and get around. And what do you like the most so far about Thailand? What is inspiring you in Thailand? I like the Thai girls. Okay. The Buddhas are beautiful, people are sweet, food's lovely, a little too much animal food for my taste. I'm vegetarian mostly and uh, it just seems like every animal part is available here. So it would be nice if I got a little more vegetarian. Okay, and, and uh, you found some new paper, Thai paper for your paintings, right? Yeah, How I'm did painting you on this handmade this? Thai paper. It's, uh, let me duck out of the screen a second, I'll show you one. This painting has, uh, has all these butterflies they put on it, so mm. it made a great background to paint on. Okay, and um, these faces, are they like imagination or are they like portraits from real humans? Uh. I, I meet people and I look at them and they say, why are you looking at me like that? I say, because I'm an artist and I'm, I like the way your face is made and it's interesting to see it. And then one day I'm painting and their face is on the paper. And I don't know why, but probably because I looked at them like that. You know? oh, they are not with you when you're painting, but you can remember you are inspired by their faces. Yeah. Wow. And And... Why is it the, the eyes, they are positioned uh, a little bit different than usual? Oh, I always do them different. Some days I'll do it this way, then a month or two later I find a new way to do it. And five years ago I did it a different way, and ten years ago I did it a different way. And tomorrow, now that you've mentioned it, I might say, well, I'll find some new way to do it. Mm. But if you spend all the time trying to reinvent new things, you never do anything. So you just kind of do it. And it evolves and it keeps growing and mm. you, you don't get stuck you know it's just like your hair doesn't grow that fast and your style has to kind of evolve you know yeah, yeah. it's just kind of gradual so right now I found this way to paint and I'm enjoying it and sometimes I think whoa I should try harder but sometimes when you try harder it's not necessarily going to give the best result mm. sometimes the best result comes from just letting the, let's say, higher consciousness of art come through you, make the painting, and you're just kind of enjoying watching it happen. Mm. Because it all comes from somewhere, and we don't know exactly where it's coming from, but there, there is definitely some, I don't know, collective unconsciousness mm. of art or higher consciousness that makes music and makes art. and. Mm. I think the best stuff comes sometime when you just get out of the way. Yes, yes. And um, will you have an exhibition in Bangkok soon? You told me I have an in, exhibition in the Dream Hotel, here right? the 17th, starting here at the uh, Dream Hotel on Soy 15. And uh, I like to decorate a lot of hotels and restaurants and nightclubs and people's houses and all kinds of exciting stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, the, the your paintings are just perfect for for any type of room, small room, big rooms, Thanks. hotel entrances, resorts. Thanks. Very colorful. Yeah, they're colorful, and I like to make things that make people happy, mm. feel happy, and um, 
I don't like to make paintings that are depressing. I just want people to, you know, live up to their highest energy. And so if, if they see some painting and they're like, well, that's fun to see, you know, it's good. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want to really put darkness in the world, just kind of brighten it up, you know, mm -hmm. make everyone say, yeah, let's get dressed up and have a good time and do great things, right? Okay, yeah, that's right. And tomorrow you're going for the first time ever in a, into a Bangkok recording studio. Yeah, that right? he recommended to me, <laughs> thanks to you. Um, I don't know what to expect, but every other time I went to a recording studio, it came out great, so I suppose this one will too. Sometime you have to, you know, work at it a while and then it comes out, but they always come out. Okay. Okay, Justin, I, uh, thank you for this little talk. Oh, you're great, man. And, you're uh, great, anytime. Thank you very much. Join Justin in Bangkok or Jamaica or where else, Costa Rica, you said. Yeah. Follow Justin Love on Facebook, YouTube, wherever I paint, you want. I paint in Vietnam. I'm going to start painting in Japan. It's a big, beautiful world full of great places. Yes, and the people are so fun to meet, you know? Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.